this is something that's needed to be said for a while now. It's a it's an unfair statement that's been said by people who have been manipulated by the media and modern standards of beauty and it really has me upset sometimes because I see the truth and nobody else is catching up with me no one's getting on my level until now people are starting to realize this it's one of those things where people called me crazy and I really felt upset by it because you know like it, it, it's not cool like Oh, fuck, didn't see what I was seeing. See, Jay-Z is not an ugly guy. I know people like to say that he's, like, a camel-looking motherfucker, that he has, like, big-ass blistex lips, like, crusty. I don't know. The way he has that simian thing where, uh, his head is kind of moving back a little here. Oh, he's facing contoured right. Look, the camera angles you have on Jay Z to signal that he's an ugly, to showcase that he's an ugly guy, no one looks good in those camera angles anyway. I guarantee you, if I had a camera like here, you know, the camera was like right above my chin facing me, I wouldn't look very good either. I would look disgusting, subhuman. Jay Z is not an ugly guy, man. Like this shit is like not cool. Like motherfucker looks like Kyran without the peanut head. Like the peanut headed kid is like an adorable kid. Like you you all saw that Vine video where he punched that camera and he started growling at his sister because he doesn't like when she puts that camera up in his face. Like. I mean, I know how it feels because my dad used to do the same shit to me. If I ever put the camera on him, I ever recorded him, you know, saying some stupid shit, he wanted to deck me, man. And he tried. On camera. And it was awesome. But, like, I understand what this is. People are hating on Jay-Z because he's with a female pantheon. And... Really, there's a bit of hypocrisy going on. You're seeing Jay-Z as superficial and ugly when you're really just uh, saying what you think of yourself about him because you're saying that Jay-Z ain't good enough to be with Beyonce. And that's really shallow. That's uh, That's really like, why would you say that? Like, Jay-Z is a handsome guy. I guarantee you that if you had someone that looks like Jay-Z hitting you up, and he had the swag on point, you would consider it if he had the right attitude, if Cetribus Paribus, yeah. Yeah, Cetribus Paribus, all things considered equal. All things considered equal, Jay-Z is not an ugly guy. I'm not saying that he's a 10 out of 10 supermodel, but... Would you rather it be Jay-Z or me? Let's be honest. Compared to... Contrasted sometimes to me, Jay-Z is a Greek god. He is Dionysus. It's it's not even close, man. So that's why I don't like modern standards of beauty, modern standards of really what is and what isn't attractive because I'm not going to be one of those guys that says uh, everybody is beautiful. No, that's not necessarily true when you look at a civilization of thousands upon thousands of Millions upon millions of people. But. What we use to judge beauty. 
is ridiculous. Sometimes I'll see some of my homeboys saying that they shouldn't be with a girl because she's got no butt. Like my son. I guarantee you that there are a lot of girls that you like. You the viewer. That have no butt. That have no uh, curvature near the rear end. That they're not thick. I guarantee you that there are tons of guys you got you girls like that have big lips. Like I guarantee there's a few there's a couple of outliers. Like why do we how come our standards are so weird? It's like our standards don't match what we truly think. It, our ego doesn't match our id. They should be in consonants. It should be a one to one ratio. But no, they don't correspond at all. And it makes no sense. It's very dissonant. I don't like it. That's why I had to make this video. Uh, to tell everybody the truth. That's all I'm here to do. To tell these motherfuckers the truth because I'm not in it for the views. I'm not in it for the money. And as such, I am comfortable saying things that other people would be too afraid to even mention. And that's my biggest disadvantage. Anyway, this has been Ristoronka7. Back again with another video. I will continue the LPs, but that's not what I made this video for. So, respect the king.